everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Getting Dug with High. My guest today is a very funny comedian, a friend of mine. You've heard him a lot and seen him on uh, Comedy Bang Bang with my other friend, Scott Ackerman, who's not, who's not a pot smoker. Yeah, uh, and so he's as, no use to us now. And your album, uh, his album, is called uh, Low Hanging Fruit. It's James Adomian, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi, friends. Got a seven or eight people strong audience. Yeah, you can hear him applauding through the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so people know that we're not doing this alone. <laughs> this isn't my basement. This is a very fancy studio. <laughs> to made to look like a basement. In space. <laughs> it's basement. It's, it's basement. basement. Um, so what's your deal uh, in terms of uh, what kind of things you like to smoke? Uh, are you a sativa person or an indica? You know, I never know. I always ask, and then I get so high that I don't remember the difference. Which one's the heady one, and which one's the down-low body one? Um, Indica's the down-low body high? Indica's more of a body high and more like it kind of knocks you out, whereas right. sativa's more of an upper, like it's more like for the Brainwaves. thinking of jokes let's and go, stuff. Let, then let's go that way. It yeah. sounds like it's proven. I brought some of each today, as I always do. Uh, Blackberry Kush is the indica. And uh, according to our friends at Leafly, um, it's good for pain and um, causes almost no anxiety. Oh, well, I do have a lot of pain and some anxiety. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? So I can see the argument for that. And then I also brought some headband, which the place I bought it from calls it a sativa. But on leafly.com, they say that it's an uh, indica dominant uh, hybrid. Mm -hmm. But I, so I don't know if. I think sometimes the names just get thrown around for it could be either, so you just have to trust your so, Some guy your scrapes local. it off the table and goes, bah, <laughs> sativa. Um, and according to uh, uh, Leafly, though, the indica that, this, that they say headband is, is uh, it's good for a nice wind down when you're ready to call it a night. <laughs> they have that on. That's on, the, <laughs> that's on the site. So it's, you can go on there and just read about, you know, what uh, you know? What's best for you in any any um, you know any given situation that you might. Have. So it sounds like the vaults of Arrowhead with maybe a, a little bit more trustworthy and believable instead of like mad scientists. Yes. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> what do you like to smoke out of generally? Are you a, a joint roller? Do you roll joints? I don't roll anything. No. Yeah. Me if neither. it's handed to me, I will do that. Yeah. And uh, so you like you just like all variety of pipes. Deed pipes, bongs. Deed seriously, like a uh, one hitter. Like even a fat, well, like two, three hitter. We don't have a one hitter, um, but we have a couple, two or three hitters, smaller pipes. Yeah, dude, no problem. Like I'd yeah. smoke out of, I'd smoke out of Willy Wonka there. I'll smoke out of this little tree branch, dude. I brought my uh, volcano vaporizer. You can vape it, but it's it's broken. Well, so that's just there to mock us. It's just there. I had it last week. I was going to talk about it, but Todd Glass and Sarah Silverman were on, and so things got out of control. And I never mentioned Did it. Did Todd Glass break it? No, it, it was already broken. What if, it, I, thought, it, like, what if I thought it could really get? It lasted it? me for years and years. I, I cherish it, but it exploded one day. Like you can <laughs> see, like this button here is just gone. And um, I'm going to hopefully get a new one. But I thought if I showed it on the show, the you, people at Volcano might be like, "Oh, let's send him one." <laughs> <laughs> you broke a vaporizer. It was like too high. Yeah, well, too you much. Know, it's, I'm sure, like your average coffee maker. Oh, it's 419. Your average coffee maker uh, usually uh, probably explodes after six or seven years. Yeah, right? yeah. So I look at it the same way. I'd get up every morning and have my coffee. And then one day I flipped the switch and it just went. Pow! And uh, but I have no ill will because it was so good for so long. It was a good investment. Yeah. So I brought it in. Forgot to mention it last week. People were tweeting at me. Well, how come you're not using the volcano? Why didn't you use the volcano? And, Why didn't uh, you do it? It's broken. So, but I'm gonna give it away on an episode of Doug Loves Movies as part of the prize bag. That Doug, would be a pretty Doug good Benson's prize. Doug Benson signed broken volcano. That's got a <laughs> that would probably sell for a couple bucks on eBay. Yeah, you could use it uh, one or two for a spaceship in a Lego universe or something. You're what I like to call an idea man. Mm -hmm. you got I have ideas, one bad man. idea. <laughs> All right, well let's well let's start with the uh, what do you call this pipe? I called it the Gandalf, and then you corrected me and said it was a Willy Wonka. But there's no right answers here. <laughs> thank thank God. You know how much of a relief that is. Oh, here you get the first hit though. Dude, greens. You get the greens. Dude, seriously, it's smoking yeah. with dog. Take, take the greens at 4:20. We're doing it. 7:20 out there on the East Coast. 
so, uh, so people 20 minutes to... after the hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. 20 minutes after the hour, you're two to the tub like it's program. <laughs> <laughs> someone, I, I lost track of that question, but someone actually asked on Twitter, uh, why, <laughs> when did you first realize you could do a Tom Likas impression? <laughs> I used to listen, to, I when I moved to LA, he was on KFI. Uh, and you know, my parents listened to talk radio and stuff, so he was on, in the afternoon drive on KFI, and he was like a political talk show host back then. He was like, all right, these Republicans are out of control. <laughs> and he was just was like he a, standard, he was he a standard Democrat on the radio, and then at some point he flipped over and he's like, FM talk, I suddenly hate women. <laughs> Yeah, because there's more ratings, I guess. <laughs> no, no, he taught you how to fuck women. That's or how right. To, how to make love. If to you them. want a woman, what a little woman wants, a woman wants to be abused. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he would really. If you're a tumble. Flip his tongue around that much when he spoke? No. <laughs> it's only slightly. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking? We're all Doug. Doug and Culver City are all tub yellow. <laughs> <laughs> And nobody, most people watching this probably have no idea who that guy is. Oh, yeah, Tom or Lagos. that a guy really sounds like that. <laughs> he does sound it's kind of like a rubber band. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I used to listen to him because I, I was just amused by it. But, you know, it is kind of, uh, it was kind of scary. Well, <coughs> I, I could see why he's not. Is he on anymore anymore? He also had a wine show. That's right. There was like a separate radio show about wine <laughs> on the weekends, yeah. where, he was, where tits would not come up at all. It was the same per, same <laughs> voice, but a completely different persona. <laughs> if you're going to have a fine wine, <laughs> try something from California, the Central Coast. It's really good. Uh, Michael Coase on Hi, Twitter Michael. wrote asking, "Has James ever met someone that didn't appreciate his mm. impression?" Of him. Mm, very interesting. Yeah. What does Sherlock mm. Holmes think <laughs> of your impression? Oh, mm. uh, yes. Yeah, take a hit while you think about that one, and I'll load up something else. It's a good thinking pipe. <laughs> yeah. Um, has it I been, haven't has met it taken a lot issue? of people that I did impressions of besides, you know, comics, and they generally are, right. they generally have a fun time. And yeah, and Todd Glass was on the show last week. Yeah. And, um, what if I thought? What if I was still on the show? What if you thought I was gone, but I'm still here, and I'm just haunting it, and now I'm just inhabiting James? Uh, what if I really thought that? What if I thought I could actually get away with that? That's that was 45 minutes of that. <laughs> um, uh, I've met very few people that I actually did an impression of. I think I met. Uh, I actually met Tom Likas, but it was way before I ever did it. It was like when I was in college. I met Tom Likas randomly. Uh, I heard that Dove Charney was not a fan of my impression of him, the American Apparel guy. Well, nobody, most people don't know what he sounds like, so you, that's probably, a you, great probably impression. A, you probably have a bit of a field day. You have full leeway to do whatever you want. <laughs> Please, yeah. it's me! <laughs> um, let's do your high history mm. real quick. Um, when did you start smoking? Uh, I think when I was 18. Yeah. Right, at, right after I didn't smoke in high school. Right after high school, I smoked the first time. And pretty regular? No, uh, just a little bit at first. And I've never really, I never really smoked a, like a lot, like most days out of the week until a couple years ago when I turned thirty. But I would always smoke, you know, after shows when people had it around or at parties and stuff. Uh huh. Years. Yeah, I was that way for a long time when I first started, and then uh, you know, eventually you just have to have your own. <laughs> right. You know? You're like. I Eventually, need, you have to smoke alone. I need this feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and I need it now, whether I, there's I don't, people or yeah, not. I don't need to be at a party. <laughs> I used to get. Also, I used to. I used to get more paranoid. Like I used to like smoke and then just like just rip through whatever any, any professional pot smokers doing, and then get like paranoid, like Pink Floyd album cover paranoid. Like, why am I so wrong? Why am I the bad guy? And then, I'm, uh, like, uh, after I'm out of my 20s, it's just like, yeah, 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 I get it. I'm a bad guy. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Let's smoke more. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoia still happens, but I'm just like, You're I'm just used more to it comfortable with I'm it. I'm like, yeah. oh, right, 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 right. I did everything wrong. Okay, I got it. And do you have a, uh, like, super famous person that you've smoked pot with? Are you? I'm this, pretty famous. Okay, yeah, I thought, does that count? So that counts. Um,. Yeah, Matt, does Matt Messer count? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get him on here. Um, hey, man. 
<laughs> Wait, we don't need to get anybody on here. We just Wait. have you on every week. So what you're saying is <laughs> I'm such an iconic pot smoker that I might as well already be on. <laughs> Yeah, who is that? Man, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> who are you doing? <laughs> That's the best reaction. That's the gold reaction you're going for. Yeah, who is that? Who's that supposed to ah! be? Who's that supposed to be? What? What about um really nobody more famous than that? Nobody's ever gonna have a good answer. I don't know who spot I can blow up. Right. <laughs> Go for it. What if I was like that's part of what I'm trying to do is just say, you know, okay, I, look, mine is Brad Pitt. <coughs> look, <laughs> one time <laughs> this dude came up and he was like, I got weed if you got something to smoke out of. <laughs> I got weed if you got something sure, to smoke sure. out of. And I said, uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I got a little pipe. And it was Wolf Blitzer. And it was at my parents' house. So I just like ganked up with Wolf Blitzer at my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> that was the situation. Uh -huh. That was a situation room. Yeah. Uh, what a situation. Yeah. Well, are you high now? I am. That that statement made me really high. I know. Me too. I don't think I could I kind of lost it mid- Did it, Was it really freaky? And we're live? No, yeah. I was- I, I saw the Andromeda Galaxy there for a second. Does he, like, giggle? What? Does he- does Wolf Blitzer giggle? Nope. He goes straight into the news. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a big rip and he goes, we're monitoring the situation in Libya right now. That would be cool. Pod that made you a serious <laughs> newsman. It just makes you snap into facts and yeah, knowledge. Yeah, you just get real serious for a while. Um, we've got pot topics. Ooh. Yeah, that's Pot where topics. Yeah, exactly. On the topic. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this is a new game. Every week, we'll see if the comedian does it before we do. Be a, little, be a race. Um, would you like to be referred to as, as the Let's see what the comedian does. The comedian. Let's see what the Ladies high comedian does this Please time. welcome the comedian for the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, according to High Times, there's a lot of cities approved recreational marijuana uh, uh, last week. We talked about it a little bit on last week's show as much Portland, as we could with Todd Glass. <laughs> yeah, Portland, Maine got on board. Uh, Ferndale, Jackson, and Lansing in Michigan. These are all places on my uh, upcoming tour dates. You've got, you uh, reward cities? <laughs> yeah. With visits? If you if they're vote pro it in, I will come do a show there. <laughs> no, I do plenty of, you know, there's people that like weed everywhere, so I, you know, I do shows everywhere. I can't. I can't skip the towns where it's extra illegal. Right. Those, those people, they need it more, more, more so than the... Do you ever go to some place where there's some... some they some... need it. They need me. <laughs> <laughs> Is there ever some sheriff that's like... He's going to come to my town. I'm going to teach him what the law Nobody is. Nobody gives a fuck. Waiting while you're on stage. Never. <laughs> like, never. Blues, like the Blues Brothers. Never, Let him finish the show and then we move never in. never anything like that. <laughs> I mean, I have performed behind Chicken Wire, but there's never been, uh, yeah, there's, I've never had an incident. I mean, I guess I'm really tempting fate by continuing to do live streaming, pot smoking. <laughs> Our address is <laughs> Culver City. Um, but uh, Kansas, there's something going on here with Kansas. Is that, uh, oh, there's an organization called Fired Up Kansas uh, put up a billboard uh, uh, calling for their state, let's do the same thing as uh, Colorado. Oh, nice. So that's kind of neat. So one billboard? <laughs> probably. In, is, is, that's all? It's there's, probably that's a how, highly trafficked spot. That's you know? how few people there are in Kansas. One billboard takes care of it. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. Uh, it's certainly, you know, now things like that, they become news stories and go on the internet, which you'll see when you get home. I'm, I he doesn't have internet buy, on his phone. I did finally buy the internet, so I am going to check out. That's a weird thing I learned about you today. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I don't need these outside influences at all times as I'm going through my day, through my sacred journey. There's a bonus pot topic. We should smoke some more, too. Sometimes we get so high we forget to smoke. And that's, <laughs> that's embarrassing. That's a, that sounds like a self-fulfilling uh, prophecy or rule. Uh-huh. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Gaga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She um, <laughs> said in an interview on Z100 Morning Radio Show that she was at one point addicted to marijuana, smoked it like 15 or 20 times a day, that many joints a day, and that it helped her cope with pain from a hip injury and also uh, physical and mental stress. 
I can see that. Yeah. She says all of that about it, and then she goes on to say more, which I will reveal <laughs> after these messages. We will be right back. <laughs> That's a cliffhanger. Why are you saying that? Just what have you seen? Nothing. I'm just saying. Be careful. Watch your back. Have you heard anything? How about I this? I don't know if she's plotting forget, something. Forget what we're saying. Okay. Unless it becomes an issue, then you come back and apologize. Yeah. There you go. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Wow. You may want to back up to give him room. Okay. I now you're so. now you're directing me. <laughs> we got the guy from the new girl pushing me around like Zoe Dashanel. What is this? Hello, giggles. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that to me. Hi, Philip. This is Catherine calling. Oh, hello, Catherine. I'm calling because I'd like to come back and work in the office. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. This is Nick Thune's fan invasion. One, two, three. Hey, we're back, and um, <laughs> there was a, for the live viewers, uh, there was a bit of a disturbance in the force. You noticed a disturbance in the force. <laughs> yes, because the, um, the show was pulled because we got flagged. Flagged and pulled, they call it. <laughs> we got flagged the old and, flag and We got pull. the old flag and pull, which, you know, it costs about 20 bucks downtown, but here we got it for free. <laughs> and uh, so... Um, but now we're back on th via some other stream. Alternate streaming. And a lot of you are watching this tomorrow anyway. So you're so. not <laughs> affected directly by it. Yes, those of you who are seeing this later, this is a waste of your time and ours. <laughs> we uh, are, this is like the live news, no we are working through the difficulties. <laughs> we are going to be uh, operating throughout the night reporting on this story. I like the... Um, I, I like the live people. I like that there are people sitting there watching it, and then now followed us to another spot. I know. Like it's That's like a, it's like an underground crap game. <laughs> like, hey guys, we get thrown out of this joint. Well, let's go down through the sewer. Let's just play in the sewer. <laughs> How about the side like of the old skate lady park? Tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the skate park. Um, I am with you, no matter how many streams we go to, how many alternate websites, wherever it ends up, I'll be there. He's in, you guys. I'm in. James, You're in. James I'm in. James Adomian We're here doing for it. the entirety of this episode. <laughs> Smoking you almost the whole sound time. exhausted there. I reloaded this for you. You're like the entirety oh, of the remainder exhausting. of the balance he's of the episodes he was contractually obligated to do. Yeah, if you get a chance to see him live, see one of his shorter <laughs> presentations. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's great 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> and here we are, 20 minutes in. <laughs> Uncharted territory. Yeah, no, this is going to be fun. I've got, a, I've got a great game coming up here, but I just want to finish up with the cliffhanger that we dropped before the break that a lot of people that are watching live right now don't even know what I'm talking about. But uh, Lady Gaga, she says she's had a, oh, she says she was addicted to marijuana. Yes, that's right. And that it helped her with her physical and mental stress. But then it also, then she went on to say she has stopped smoking marijuana. So first of so all, so she's just incredible pain. She's going it's off about how addictive it is, and she quit it. Mm-hmm. She stopped doing it. It right. seems to be content with not doing it anymore. And also, she says it helped her with physical and mental stress. Like, that's... So it seems like... The story should be marijuana help me, not it's addictive, so I quit. And yeah, because well, we, who knows if she was misquoted? I'm just saying, let <laughs> Miss Gaga have her day in the public court. <laughs> we don't need to have a media crusade about Miss Gaga. I think she does great things for the economy. I think we're on crossfire. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Typical. I was liberal. gonna say, how does Jesse Ventura feel about this <laughs> this Lady Gaga situation? She's. How do we know that that's her real opinion about what's happening and that this isn't being filtered through the mainstream news? 
When we're talking, you think it's a coincidence that we're flipping streams, that they're shutting us down on the live feed? Oh, you don't think it has anything to do with the weed smoking? I'm just asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Me it's, too. A, it's legal, it's happening legally. What do they have to hide? That's all I want to know. Where are they sweeping it under? A rug of some kind? Do you have the answers? I don't have the answers. I literally just want to ask questions. <laughs> This is great because I just want to smoke weed. <laughs> so you could do all the talking while I do the smoking. Because on this show, one of us has to be talking at all times, I think. Where That's did that rule come from? <laughs> oh, let's both just take a hit then. You know, I got high with Hendrix once. <laughs> I forgot Jesse was still here. Yep. That's how high I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do lots of great characters, and so I thought. Thank you. Yes, I do. And not you, not Jesse. <laughs> what if I just Jesse, could... bring back. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going for my impression well, of other Minnesota figures. I'm sorry. Can I speak to James again? <laughs> yes, yeah, James sorry. in there. Thank you. I wanted a full James, James Lipton. We need a. Uh, we need a. Uh, what do you call it? Is it possible that I exorcism speak to James in that? Yes. Um, um, so for our, for this week's uh, pot quiz hop shot, mm. pot quiz hop shot. Bam, 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 bam. If you need like yeah, a song for the be bit, good. right? That was it. We got it. Here, we it we just recorded it. <laughs> Time for pot quiz hop shot. Bam, 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 bam. Just pull, we'll just pull that one and use it every week. Great. All right. Well, I'm available uh, to call in if you want it. Here's the game. We're, I'm going to ask you a series of riddles, but also each riddle I'm going to begin by asking a oh, certain great. celebrity that you do the voice of. Oh, no. Uh, the questions. So you have to answer as that person. All right. Does, does, and they're all, they, all have, they all have tricky, there's, there's a real So it's answer. harder than it sounds. Uh, I think you'll get the hang of it. Okay. This has never worked. What do you mean? Do -do 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 -do. I just retreat back into the theme song. <laughs> that's how you. That's how you go backwards. That's how you erase all of this from happening. <laughs> I just erase. okay. Let's play. He just <laughs> and it keeps all over going again. over again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is for Jesse Ventura. Game. What kind of coat can only be put on when wet? <laughs> what kind of coat? Jesse Ventura can well, only put be put on when wet. I've worn a lot of different objects. I've worn uniforms. I've ran, I've worn sweatshirts, sweatsuits. I've worn wardrobes I can't even tell you about. Do you understand that, Benson? I've understand worn a feather it boa. And appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. You're asking what kind of suit you put on. It's wet. It's a wet suit. Oh, yep. no, sorry, Jesse. Well, no, it's, how do you know? The do you have experience? Is, the answer is paint. I'm an EVCL. Paint. <laughs> That's the answer they want you okay, to know. Okay, James, are you in there? I, re <laughs> I refuse to I acknowledge James it was a mistake. I want James back. Okay, next one, Paul, uh, Paul Giamatti. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, well, uh, here it is. Probably not going to go well, folks. Sure. <laughs> You're a voiceover on those uh, insurance uh, ads right now. Yeah, you noticed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing the uh, voices because I had a, a pretty bad accident, and I'm paying for it uh, by doing free ad work for them. Oh, it's this Liberty Mutual Insurance, yeah. <laughs> Don't come after me for the school bus I drove off the road. Wait, why were you driving a school bus? Aren't you an actor? <sighs> Maybe I went and stole it. Our times are hard. I'm a real sack of failure. What goes around the world but stays in a corner? <laughs> Just ignoring the last thing you said. What well, do you, yep, say, what I, do you uh, say to a guy that says, uh, Oh, thanks, a, you're a uh, sack of failure. <laughs> thanks for moving on. That's, uh, that's actually the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, Doug. The nicest? <laughs> yep. Hard to believe. Usually I would have been slapped in the face by now. What goes around the world, <laughs> but stays in a corner? You know, that sounds real deep. It's in a corner all the time, this thing. <laughs> and yet, it travels. A wheelbarrow. It goes, I'm dropping what, a wheelbarrow. No, it's a stamp. OK. <laughs> 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 like the corner of the envelope? Yes! Uh, okay, all right. Now I see what I'm saying. All right. I bet you Gordon Ramsay would know the answer to this question. Why? Uh, 
I don't know if he would. You don't like doing no. Gordon Ramsay? I don't know if he would. Uh, Where did I even hear you do Gordon Ramsay? Was it like in a sketch or something? Yeah, it was on Comedy Bang Bang. There you go. Gordon Ramsay. Uh, yeah. What I got a better do? one. I got a better one. No, I, I could do them. I just, <laughs> I'm, one of, I don't, I'm fascinated by the questions. You just want to play as yourself? Yeah. All right. But I'm, you know. I feel like I don't, now everybody out there is going like, Wah, I was rooting for you know, doing a little voice of the character like you said. <laughs> there's a lot of seriously injured people. It's, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> there's really I'm a sad, sad crowd. <laughs> but there's men, weed is good for them. Yeah. It helps them with their pain. That's where I come from. Um, what can you catch but not throw? <laughs> the point of this fucking game, mate, okay? <laughs> you can catch it, but you can't throw it. I can catch it, but I can't it. throw it back. You know what I'm talking about, mate? That's right, that's right. <laughs> and there's goo, there's goo everywhere! What do you say when you throw people off of the, that show? That you're, you're fucked, <laughs> mate. No, It's usually bleeped. That's what it's he usually says. bleeped. <laughs> Everything he says is bleeped. You have no <laughs> idea what he's saying. Uh, the thing you can catch but not throw is a cold. You can't throw a cold. Yeah, I feel like for that to be a better riddle, you would have had a, like, no, it's throwing a cold isn't a known thing. It would be like, I, come on, like, who wrote that riddle? You make a lot of money in the uh, riddle analyst yeah, division. Yeah, I, I play the riddles in a Sunday paper. <laughs> <laughs> when, the riddles, when the riddles come through with the comic strips. All right, what does Gary Busey think of this question? Oh, no. <laughs> what jumps when it walks and sits when it stands? Doug, first of all, let me ask you a question. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen a figure in the forest that was jumping when it walked and sitting when it stands? Um, <laughs> not in a forest, no. Let me tell you, I've looked at it face to face. What we're looking at is not a physical creature from our corporeal world, but it is an avatar of the future and our ancient past. It is a member of the Anunnaki. <laughs> <laughs> and they are here as our future and once partners in our space travels. And the Anunnaki are here, and they are the ones that stand as they sit and sit as they stand and are jumping and as they walk through space and time. So and that close, is because so close. It's kangaroo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Kangaroo. www.kangaroo.org forward slash Israeli conspiracy pyramids out. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, Gary. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna sit right here and meditate. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I prefer chess. Let's go with. <laughs> and you can have another hit if you'd like. Oh God! Do you realize I haven't been the stones in like a, a months? I mean, I didn't know I didn't know where you this were is, at. This as is far like as how much you were smoking. But. Yeah, this is like I'm like baked. Yeah it's, yeah, it's good, right? It works. You just smoke more of it and you get higher, apparently. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> no complaints Some so people far. Some people level out, though, pretty pretty nicely, you know? Yeah? We figure 45 minutes is enough time for you to get, like, probably as, as high as you're going to get, you know? 45. So at the very end, boom, we want boom. you to, you know, we want to go out with you really high. All right. I go. I mean, I'll be there with you. I, I get high, too. It's fun. It makes it so much higher when there's an, a galaxy behind you on the wall. <laughs> I just watched you say that. It was that. inspired. They showed it to me. They're like, what do you think of this? It's a yes. newly forming galaxy. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Wait to see the cartoons. They're going to make they're gonna make animations Whoa. of, of uh, sequences from the show. Do you mean to say that this is like, <laughs> this is a world <laughs> that we are creating in this very moment? I guess so. That's what the set sort of bespeaks. I yeah. like it. I'm trying Ultimate to Ultimate universal and eternal power. I want to be the Tom Cruise of podcasting. Really? Yeah. Uh, I want to be in charge of it. Do you have any sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> um, Can you slide on a hardwood floor in your underpants? <laughs> I'm sure I could. <laughs> I think that's what vaulted yeah. Cruise to the top. He's he's just he works. The airplane thing too. Nobody works harder than that guy, at being like at, at, be, at being a movie star. Oh, okay. He has to learn something for every movie he's in. He has to learn a craft, <laughs> you know. Like he has to learn how to fighter piloting, throw bottles in the air, and say poems driving. on the bar. He has to learn how to do that. <laughs> All right. He has to be a secret agent. This is for Tim Gunn. This question. Great. Yeah. 
And this question is brought is is brought to us by the good folks at Tresemme. <laughs> um, what goes up and down the stairs without moving? What goes up and down the stairs? Oh, well, that's an interesting question. I, I'll without, tell you exactly. <laughs> okay, Tim Gunn. I, I think the same. What goes up and down the stairs at the same time is fashion. I think we're going up as we're retreading old ideas. I think what's going up is coming down. I think it's angular, and I frankly, I think, I frank that, I think that light and shadow is in play, and I think it could come in 90 degree angles. I think it's hot. I think it works. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says the answer is a rug. Um, oh, a you're rug. right. <laughs> or a banister would work. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yes. Um, <coughs> oh, good. Tom Likas is on here. You got it. <laughs> Give me food and I will live. Give me water and I will die. What am I? Give me food and I will live. Mm -hmm. Give me water <laughs> and I will die. Yes. You know what? I, you know what? I'm, I know the answer to this. Do you know the answer to it? I do. Cause Give it's on the card me food. Right here. I it's will live. Card. Yes. But, but, but water. <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> What's the I'll answer? tell you exactly what the answer is. It's something that you get, Doug, and it's something that I get. <laughs> tell, Blankets. Tell, Mr. Toll Free, tell them number. And the answer is. <laughs> is pussy! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I wish the answer was pussy. The answer I bought him, that's what I got! Because women are attracted to the man. That's some. You've been, some, you've been some weird ladies. If water you, murders their pussy, you bet I have. <laughs> <laughs> what what I feed them is good old fashioned tub. <laughs> That's food for thought. You know what I'm talking about, ladies? The answer is fire. Fire. If you give it food, fire is what? Give it food. You know, See, wood. riddles are assholes. The answers are never guessable. The, and that's the thing about riddles. This never, they're ne no one is ever like, I know that. They're always the writer is the only one who knows the answer. Throw it off the highest building and it'll, it won't break, but put it in the ocean and it will. Throw it off the highest building. Yes. It will break. Yeah, they just announced the new highest building is going to be the new uh, it's no longer World Trade Center. Yeah, okay. it's gonna be the tightest, tallest building. You said tightest. It's gonna be the tightest. <laughs> it's gonna be the tightest that building. building's gonna be the shit, dude. It's gonna be the tightest. So tight. <laughs> um, highest building, it won't break, but then you put it in the ocean and it will break. Break is a weird word, though. I'd say dissolve. Put it in the highest. It gives it away. Highest building. Yes. It will br it drop it from the highest building. This it won't building break. is a contender right now for the highest building. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't break if you drop it from the highest building, but it will break if you put it in the ocean. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think I would have gotten any of these right if somebody. A asked sugar me. cube. Valid? Uh, Valid. <laughs> It might, it, might, it might break if you throw off a tall building, a sugar cube might break when it hits. Really? Yeah, maybe. Wrong brand of sugar uh, cubes, my friend. The, the, the definitive answer, yes. the inarguable. Can I introduce you to Sweetness Farms? They're sugar cubes you could toss out of a sky rise apartment building and nobody will know the better. Sugar sweet. Tiss you. <laughs> Tiss you. Tiss you. Very good. Tissues the Very answer. Very good. Yeah. You understand it's a material yeah. thing. All right. Well, we so, won't we won't subject any other guests to that those sort of riddles. It was a what fun if, experiment what with if you. I, <laughs> I was gonna do Orson Welles. <laughs> Why? I'm using the Orson Welles because because I'm just because I'm that high. Who's is he your favorite to I, do right now? Do you have a favorite? I, well, he's always one of my favorites. I love. There's the video of him doing a champagne commercial and he's way too drunk. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I I love that so much. It's like. Ah, he's heroically trying to go forward and do it, and he's like, ah, the <laughs> French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Bazin, inspired by that same French excellence. And they're like, God, what? <laughs> and that's not an exaggeration. No, that is, if anything, a, a pulling back. <laughs> The real one is him, like, Mah! he's flying. Oh, man. <laughs> Flames are coming out of his ass. Yes. <laughs> well. Whoa. 
Still doing pretty good? Did you hit that again? I did. Well, they're probably like, no! There's probably like, they're like, no, it hasn't been, it's, he needs to. Well, it's good. Your riffs are long, so it does give you long breaks. <laughs> between, uh, Are you complaining about the length of my riff? No, I I sit here and most, e most enjoy the shit much out like of it. The length of my riff, People you know? are watching this, losing their minds over it because they're getting high with us. <laughs> and there's just one guy in the Madness. pot circle who is just insane with the crazy voices. <laughs> I think it's pretty universal. I think most stoners like crazy voices. <laughs> <laughs> That looked it's a theory that, that I have. looked so I'd never seen something so <laughs> trivial spoken about so seriously. Yeah, you were literally I just like meant it. <laughs> I think if there's one thing we know about this world, it's that the stoners out there like crazy voices. <laughs> Details at eleven. Ish. <laughs> Don't hold me to eleven. Yeah, I'll be we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, damn, this show's flying by. Holy shit. Yeah. We gotta do another, uh, breaky. No. Yeah. Wow. We were really on a roll there. Someday we might sell stuff in the commercial breaks. Right now it's just, hey, watch our other shows on VPN. Oh, yeah. Which is fun for people to see. And, uh, so we'll look at that and uh, be right back. It's a stunning conclusion. Rocky. Raise money to make the picture, you know, from you guys are fans. Got a lot of good prizes. One million dollars, what do you get? Uh, you gotta walk on in the picture. Can uh, I just pitch my movie real quick? Yeah. Is that your body or are you just absorbing water? See, I feel like I have to roast. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that to Miss Natasha. Back up and I'm doing this, blood flow. I'm thinking about the show. I'm thinking about the cast. back um this is going great i think i'm really happy with this i think there's only w one grade i would give this and this would be like a that's the a that's how i do my grading yeah no paperwork no homework it's all just sort of <laughs> you know what feeling. that is you know what that is in sign language though what right? if you just if you tighten it up a oh little is bit it there. what is it <laughs> What do you think that is? Is that? Wait, are you talking about pull? You know what this is for? Tell him like it. Tell him like it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Tell him like it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Uh, do you care? <laughs> yeah, I do care. I'm doing great. <laughs> what is your question for the professor? Every fucking call would start <laughs> off like that. Yes, it's it like insane. it's like there's basically insane. twenty things that you say, and only those things ever. <laughs> it was bizarre. It was. I loved listening to that. Um, let's. This is a part of the show where uh, you're good and high. Yes. Uh, and while while I take another hit, um, we're gonna make you watch a magic trick. Okay. Yeah. Cause <laughs> oh it's, no. Because it's Gabe time. Hey James. Hi Gabe. How's it going? Great. Hang, Hang on card. a second. The theme, uh, the logo's probably not finished yet. Is yeah. there a logo over us? There is. Yeah, and the sound sound effect too. So. Oh great. Okay, now it's time. I didn't know any of that. <laughs> Make a card, any card. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna take this guy. Okay. Memorize it, show it to the camera over there. I'll take it from you. I'm gonna place it back inside the center, is that fair? Fair. All right. Fair play. There's actually a string that comes up through the deck, and if I pull it like that, <laughs> yes. your card actually comes right back up to the top. Impossible, sir! 
Watch, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the center. Oh the god. Strain. Back I, to the top. It, I heard it. I'll try With my own more. ear, I heard it, I swear. Place your hand out like a table. Uh, the other way. Oh, okay. Yeah, turn. The oh, other this way. way. Yeah, there we go. All right, Make watch. your hand a table. Take your card. Place it inside this fan. It's a long it one. There. Push it in. Pull the string. Back. Okay, sometimes it actually goes too far. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Hey! Nothing wrong with a good classic Joker, right? Exactly. I don't think so. I'll do one more thing. <laughs> no, you didn't. No! Bend the card. That part was impossible. That didn't happen. That didn't Not happen. Over yet, That's James. Right, you can what? see the card. It's physically bent in the deck, right? Watch this. Oh, fuck. Oh. <sighs> very, very good, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Is that it? Yeah. All right, see you later. No! <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. was a devilish moment of conjuring. <laughs> that was, I think, the longest trick he's ever done. <laughs> yeah. It was he's a ten really, of diamonds. He's really getting... Uh, That's an old trick called ten of diamonds, right? I don't know what... I didn't really see much of it, but... Okay. Um, was I not supposed to reveal it even afterwards? They're like... <laughs> Your album that uh, people can get on album? iTunes and whatnot is available also at Earwolf. Earwolf. And yes. uh, you have stand-up dates in the Midwest coming up in January. Yeah. You don't no, want to get too specific? No, I like you, people guessing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah Where's that guy going to be? I'm going to be in Chicago and Columbus and uh, Cleveland and uh, Toronto. Nice. Yeah. Doug Loves Movies. Uh, we're going to do uh, tapings at the Improv in uh, Tempe, Arizona on December 1st. And the Neptune Theater in Seattle on December 13th. Oh, shit. Neptune, be there. Thank you, James Adomian, for Thank being you, here. Doug. It's Low Hanging Fruit is my album. What I call it? Uh, I don't remember. I just want to make sure. I said do. the wrong words? No, I don't know. I just I wanted to say that. Okay, I think I said it right. Hey, that's the best. Guys, in case you're ever wondering how to do an interview, this is the best way to end an interview. Low Hanging Fruit <laughs> is the is the album that's my name of my album. Yeah. Mr. Carson. Okay, all right. <laughs> what if somebody was that stone on a real TV show? Did you remember the name of my album? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, James Adomian. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Doug. Uh, you could s <laughs> uh, see you next Wednesday. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Doug Benson.